The major histocompatibility complex is a set of proteins on the cell surface that assists in the recognition of foreign antigens. MHC class 1 occurs on all nucleated cells and presents antigens to cytotoxic T lymphocytes that express the CD8 receptor, triggering the cell to undergo apoptosis. MHC class 2 occurs on antigen-presenting cells, including macrophages, B cells, and dendritic cells, and presents antigens to helper T cells that express the CD4 receptor. Binding of the CD4 receptor to the MHC2 complex primes the naive helper T cell to become either a memory T cell or a factor T cell. T cells are activated by a process that requires three sequential signals. The first signal begins when the T cell receptor interacts with the MHC peptide complex presented by an antigen presenting cell. Once a threshold number of T cell receptors are occupied, multiple co-stimulatory molecules, including the interaction of CD28 of T cells with B7 of antigen presenting cells, are activated, comprising signal number two. This leads to a cascade of signaling pathways, including the activation of NF-kappa B and NFAT via the calcineurin pathway and subsequent production of IL-2. IL-2, or T cell growth factor, leads to the clonal expansion of T cell populations. Signal 3 involves the engagement of IL-2 with CD25 on the T cell itself, thereby activating a complex known as the mammalian target of rapamycin, or mTOR. Various pharmacotherapies have been developed to block signals 2 and 3 to inhibit clonal proliferation of T cells. Engagement of B7 molecules provides T cell activation signals if engaged to CD28, or inhibitory signals if ligating CTLA-4. CTLA-4 induces an inhibitory signal that downregulates T cell activation and is a target of induction regimens. Belatacept is a CTLA-4 immunoglobulin which blocks the co-stimulatory signal and subsequent T cell activation. Signal 3 begins with engagement of interleukin-2 on CD25. Basiliximab is a chimeric monoclonal antibody to the alpha chain of CD25, thus preventing further T cell activation. Finally, Leukocyte depletion strategies use antibodies such as thymoglobulin, which are designed to bind peripheral alloreactive lymphocytes and create a window of opportunity for an allograft to settle in.